All right, uh, took this a few minutes after the last episode. I'm ranked 39, going to 40. Hopefully this is it. Hopefully this isn't a terrible, embarrassing loss. To, I'm fighting Bulbasaur, and he's ranked 29, so, okay. Well, hey, I could do it. Um, do I want this? Not really. I've got no draw, I've got no creatures. No, I don't, I don't oh boy. This is like the same fucking thing, but I have one creature. Whatever, fine, I'll keep it. I hate going to six. Okay. What is with all these fucking islands? Honestly, I, I have mountains in here, I swear. I didn't know she was 17. There's my mountain. Give me that shit. Asshole. No, I'm sorry, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, the... The, the fucking dumbest of the starter Pokemon. Ah, uh, I said it. That's right, guys. Sorry. Actually, you know what? Maybe Squ Squirtle's kind of goofy, too. I don't know who's worse. Bulbasaur or Squirtle. Squirtle was kind of a bro. Um, damn, man. He's playing the same shit I am. Oh, boy. I'm going to Chief of the Foundry here. I don't know if that's the right move. I, I usually like having this guy protected in my hand for a while, but he's the only creature I have. And I want to drop Thopter Spy Network. I don't know. I mean, I'm not blocking. I don't think he's swinging. I think he'd rather have that as a blocker, which would make sense. Uh, Thopter Spy Network, motherfucker. Let's see how this works. Nope, skippy skips. Alright, so I got three Disperses, which is actually terrible against the uh, Thopter deck, because... Yeah, because I don't... What do I want to do? Bounce that back to his fucking hand? Like, are you kidding me? No. I guess I could pop his uh, Thopters. That'd be fine, I suppose. Swing for one. No, that, that'd be dumb, right? Don't... You want that? Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna actually hang on to everything and not do a goddamn thing. So we're just gonna play the staring game for a little while. And I want to see what he's up to. Because I'm cool just sitting here, sitting pretty. Oh, he wants to pop uh, pop my foundry. That's that's exactly why I, uh, I have this, buddy. And guess what? I have another one, too, if I don't like you. I don't run this card. I, I don't actually like it. I really don't like it. Um, I can't block. I can't actually block, so I'm gonna skip because I need uh, I need to be able to put my thopters out. I will do this. Uh, yes. <laughs> And I can't cast fucking that yet, so I'll just do this one for now. Because there's no guarantee that I'm going to get another, or when I'm going to get another, uh, another fucking thing I need. So, I think I have enough of a board state to do this. I'm going to keep my Disperse open before I put down my Sigil. Should I just swing? You know what? Fuck it. I want that extra card. Yeah. Come on over. Come on down, buddy. <clears throat> That's nice. Yeah, see, I, I I don't know when I'd be able to play Chandra Nalar's parents. Pia and Karen, I think? Karen? I don't know. I'm, I'm doing this from memory, and my memory is full of drugs. So, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. Uh, I'm not doing too well. He's got me on uh, health and board state. Technically. And almost cards, too, so we're evened out on cards, so I'm not doing the best. I'm not doing super dupers right now. The good news is I have two disperses. He might hold these back just so I don't get uh, cards. Well, I, well, that's silly, dude. Why, why, you want to kill this? I don't give a shit. And you're tapped out. That thing's dead. You can only kill my Thopter. Yeah, he's he's tapped. He can't do anything. Alright, so that's one less damage from him. 
I could disperse his his smear, but that would be weird. It's like one damage. And I'm just getting all the thopters in the world right now. Um, <laughs> uh, normally I would wait. Uh, let, let you know what though? Let's not tap my only fucking red source. How about that? <laughs> I mean, god damn, man. It's like they don't even give a shit. Oh, but he's got blockers now. That's what's going on. Fine. Fine. If he tries to double block or triple block it, will I just let it go? Actually, yeah, I would let it go. Um. Yeah, why not? Right? I mean, I don't think my disperse is going to be that useful right now, and he's got plenty of blockers, so I'm going to want to. This, I just want to do this. This is what I want to do. Alright, so right now my targets are the Chief of the Foundries, but they're four in the asses, so they're a little more difficult to pop. I mean, they're pretty hard to pop. Let's just put it that way. They are pretty hard to pop. He's epiphanying. He does have telling time. I don't run epiphany anymore. I mean, I could, but I don't. I find that telling time is good enough. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really... It's not really card draw. It's more like a really good scry for two and an instant. It's like a really good scry. It digs three deep. I mean, that's that's all I want, man. Uh Oh, wow, my girlfriend just got her board score back. Uh, but she didn't read it, and she wants me to do it for her. Um, Why don't I just attack with all my fucking shit? Boom, 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 boom. Attack, pause, and I don't even want him to stop all this shit. I want you to take some damage, bitch. Nine damage, ho. Wow, he didn't even pop it. He could have popped it in response. Alrighty. Um, okay, don't mind if I do. Uh, I will... Alright, that's fine. I'm only going to play one because I, I, I really do want to keep that... Uh... Boy, he's been... I want to keep that disperse open. Uh, I guess I could just spend to put it on somebody. Uh, I don't know, this guy, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't really have to. He's he's probably dead next turn. It, and it's not like I'm going to swing with just that guy anyway. But, I mean, he has to do a lot to stop me. And so, I am I'm I think this is it, guys. I think I'm at 40 now. Uh, he's gone! Holy crap! Victory is assured. Until the AI just wrecks my shit, right? He just takes their boot and just sticks it right in my pooper and all my shit just goes right back in. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and save that for no reason at all. <laughs> I like my disperses, baby. That's how I like to play, man. I'm sorry. I just, I just enjoy it that way. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not even going to block. Go ahead. Hit me for two. Take me to ten. Use your removal. I mean, he's got four mana, so I know he's got some kind of removal in there. Oh, that sucks. He can stop this. No, he can't. Can he? Oh, not anymore. That's for sure. That's it. Alright, man. Finally. Good game. Well, m mostly good game because I'm happy. I mean, I don't know. It, was this a good game? I think so. He did a lot of stuff. I mean, he, did, he was digging most of the time. And my disperses foiled his plans constantly. I'm not even going to even him. I'm just going to fucking send this shit in there and just stomp face because now I'm rank 40 and I'm really happy. It took me a little while, i got to be honest. Uh, I, I made a lot of losses, guys. <laughs> but this is the deck that did it. Uh, I'm going to... I'll just do a, a really, really quick uh, run-through of the deck that I got. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Okay, baby. I, I get you. Leave game. Yeah, oh, that's what I got. I got that demon guy. <laughs> I don't want to be him. <laughs> oh, what is, this guy's goofy. <laughs> he, he's like got this tiny little head and this gigantic fucking meatloaf body and like this bright red coat. Oh man. Alright, whatever, whatever. He, it's fine. I'm happy that I'm 40 and I got this really cool pearlescent uh, ring around everything. Fucking awesome. Very happy right now. That's an awesome battle. Alright, so let me show you. Uh, 
Let me show you what got me there in case you guys want to get up here too and, and play and you play and you play as badly as I do. I don't know why I went up that way. Uh, Bagger 288 is what I called it. I'm, I, I will be changing a lot of this shit. Um, uh, yeah, that's happening. That's happening right now. <clears throat> uh, I it took me a while to get this, but you know, one one mana for for two and very often three damage. Uh, it's just too good removal. It gives you a lot of control of the board. That's that's why it's it's in there. Perilous Mirror is in there because I'm not an idiot. Sigil of Valor is actually a pretty underrated card, especially when you have a lot of creatures out. Um, maybe not as good in elf decks, but de because uh, the elves don't always have evasion. But really good in this deck because my Thopters almost, I mean, they're, they're, they have evasion. It's called flying. It's evasion. So you you can jump out a bunch of Thopters, a bunch of fucking 6 one ones, and all of a sudden you're swinging in for a 7-7 seven, seven flyer. Uh, that's significant. And pair that up with all this removal that you have from uh, the uh, Fiery Impulse, the Twin Bolt, and Disperse. Um, th that 7-7 seven, seven or 5-5 five, five or whatever the hell it is is getting in there most of the time. So this is a pretty significant card. Uh, it also counts as an artifact so when you do eventually have your Thopter Spy Network out you can uh, you can always get uh, a Thopter every, every fucking turn. So that's really the point of this. Uh, Telling Time is is my own. I, I mean, I used to have a lot more card draw. Now Telling Time is my only card draw because. Sorry, I had a sniff. Um, it's not even card draw. It's uh, it essentially cycles itself, and then you do Scry for two. But the problem, but the but the benefit is that you dig three cards into your deck, and you choose which one of those you get, and then you choose your next card. Um, and then, of course, you have to throw away one, but that's that's really just a cost, and, and most of the time, that's really a benefit, because of, of the next three cards that you're ever going to draw, one of them is less important than the other two. <laughs> so it's, it, uh, it, it's essentially a really good scry, like I mentioned, and if you need uh, a specific land, or if you need a specific card, uh, this is better than Epiphany, which only gets you whatever the top two cards of your deck are. This will get you essentially, essentially one and a half of the cards that are within the top three that you're about to draw if that makes any sense it might not disperse is uh maybe a cuttable card i'm not um i really like it because it's two mana for for a removal and in the meta right now there's a lot of tokens uh i mean i wouldn't say a lot of tokens but there are tokens and disperse just utterly destroys them and uh, my favorite move is that uh that black creature that uh that drops a uh, a 5-5 five, five flying demon uh you fucking disperse the demon that this guy gives you priest of the blood right disperse the demon it's a token so it just dies and now the guy's stuck with a fucking 2-2 that deals two damage to him every turn and he just spent five mana for it so that's just goddamn hilarious uh that i mean limited use there but uh, Disperse is really, really useful. I mean, you've seen me play it. it. It bounces your own creatures. Sometimes bouncing your own creatures is really good. Uh, you do that with uh, Whirler Rogue, and you get an extra two creatures out. Um, you want to save a Spy, uh, a Thopter Engineer, in case you need something. I mean, save it, save, save something. Whatever. It's it, it gives you a lot more control over the board, and it's pretty fucking cheap for it. So that's why I like it. Also, something to really keep in mind. Non-land permanent, okay? So sometimes, so all right. So let's say they they got the um, they got that uh, th the green three three hexproof creature. What is it, the hunt beast or something that that you can't ever touch? But they throw a fucking nimbus wings on it. Uh, you can disperse the nimbus wings. That thing will fall to the ground, and then you can triple block it or double block it or whatever the hell you need to do to kill that thing. So it's non-land permanent, not just creatures. Uh, their enchantments can go. Their well, I mean, I guess that's really it, isn't it? It's just creatures, enchantments, and artifacts for the most part. Um, and Planeswalkers. Planeswalkers are also a non-land permanent, so if they flip a Planeswalker, you can pop that shit right back in their hand and they gotta do it all over again. So, totally worth it, in my opinion. Um, very good. Twin Bolt, one of the best fucking cards in the game right now, man. I mean, everybody is playing uh, really light creatures with uh, one in the ass, or or maybe up to two in the ass, and, and the fact that this can also hit the face, too, is just so much damn better. Uh, you can you can aim one of these at your perilous mirror, and then the mirror will do two damage, and then this will do another damage. So that's three damage to a creature if you want, but that's a bit of a combo, and you're using up two cards. It's it, you know that's a little more desperate, but but it'll work. 
Uh, Chief of the Foundries is fucking obvious. This is sort of the backup for uh, Sigil of Valor. If Sigil of Valor is facing up against, like, too many flyers or something, or there, there's just... It, it's just not going to work, uh, Chief of the Foundry can definitely help out there. That'll just make your uh, your Thopter a fatter little fucker, and he can hit much harder. Thopter Engineer... I mean, it, it's great. All your artifacts have haste, so it, it syncs with pretty much everything in your fucking deck. It's it's just a goddamn good. It's three in the ass. It's hard to remove. Uh, often when they swing for one, they don't get blocked because it's just one damage. So maybe you don't want to be swinging with that. Normally, when I have enough things in the air, I'm not swinging with the uh, ground troops anyway. Whirler Rogue is fucking amazing. You get two of these goddamn chopper uh, thopters, and you can tap a couple of them to make somebody unblockable. Uh, get make somebody unblockable. Make somebody unblockable. Gee, I wonder who I want to make unblockable. I don't know. Maybe that fucking seven seven guy who's coming in for your shitter. Uh, Chandra's parents are kind of fun. This is a bit expensive. Uh, it's three mana, but and you have to only sacrifice one artifact, but you do do two damage. So it's sort of it, it's a really shitty shock, but two damage isn't always it, it's it's often relevant. All right, and. Ideally, you should have enough Thopters to make this uh, to make this worth it. Uh, Spy Network is self-explanatory. Jesus Christ, it's a great card. You have to run it. Um, as long as you have one artifact in play, keep that in mind, especially if it's a creature. You can't block with it and let it die. Uh, then you're always going to be popping one out. Some Something you might forget, uh, when you deal combat damage to a player with your artifacts, you will gain uh, an extra card. So sometimes you want to... You want to... Keep that in mind. If you're if you're digging for something, maybe you want to dig for it after your combat step. So don't play anything before, even if you have a good play. Like if you can remove somebody, maybe you want to hold on to it. This, this does change up sometimes what you have to do. Uh, this is my mana spread is completely even because uh, my my mana curve is almost. I mean, look at it. It's thirteen and twelve. What, what, what difference does it make? So I'm not gonna make it like one is eleven and another is nine. Fuck that. Uh, Foundry of the Consoles, uh, it, it is good. It, it does work for me every now and then. Uh, five, five mana is pretty tough. It's pretty clearly that this, it's pretty clear that this is a late game card, but, uh, when it does pop, uh, you can do this as an instant for a surprise two chump blockers. It's not really a surprise since it is on the board and they should be expecting it, but in case they're not. Uh, so that's my mana curve, mostly two drops, a uh, little bit up in the high end, everything's pretty much evened out, so that's the, that's the, pretty much the shit I've been using. Uh, I'm super happy. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to do then? I mean, I, I, I think I might just retire this deck then, because I mean, I've been playing the shit out of it, and it got me to rank 40, and I'm super happy with that, so I might want to change some things up. I mean, you can see what I've been playing with. I've been trying to fuck with mill, mill. I, I, I might actually get a mill deck going, honestly. <laughs> I think I can do it. Uh, it it's going to be uh, blue-black, maybe, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, or, as I've never played, Beat to Meat is... Uh, well, you can imagine what these are. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I'm having a great time. See you later. Love you.